Welcome back, everybody. On Tuesday, I showed you how to create a basic but functional customer survey using Google Forms. Today, I'm going to show you how to transform that survey using my favorite design tool, Canva. We'll be making your survey more visually appealing so that recipients enjoy opening them and will want to respond to your questions. We'll also be making your survey super professional by adding your own branding. If you missed out on Tuesday's tutorial, don't worry, I will be leaving a link on the end screen and also in the description box below so you can check it out later. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Nikki Pasquier. I'm a Canva certified creative and I help small businesses successfully grow their brands online using some of the best marketing tips, tricks and tools. So if you don't want to miss out on any of my videos, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're one of the first to know when I publish a new video. So if you're ready to make a start, open up your Canva account and locate that questionnaire that you created on Tuesday. Remember we made this header image on Tuesday to pop into the top of our surveys? Open this template up again in Canva and also have your Google survey open in a new tab so that you can easily pop back and forth from Canva to your Google survey. Now I've done some investigation work and I've discovered the exact size you'll need for this Canva template. Just bear with me a few minutes and I'll share the template dimensions with you. First of all, we're going to start by adding a new blank page to this template by clicking on this little tiny icon in the top right hand corner of the template. Next, we're going to add your survey questions to these blank pages using your own brand fonts. So just pop back into your Google form and then just copy the first question. Pop back into Canva. Now I'm going to add the text for the questions by clicking on the text button in the sidebar and then pasting the question. And I think I'm going to call this question one. You can customize your fonts even further by adding some brand colors and maybe some text effects. Great. Once you're done creating the first question, all you have to do now is click on the duplicate page button to duplicate the page and repeating this process again by just altering the text. Repeat this process for as many questions as you have in your survey. I divided my survey into two sections, so I'm going to now create two section headers using a couple of my brand photos. Perfect, I think I'm all done now. Now to save myself a whole bunch of time again, rather than downloading all of these pages to my laptop, opening up a zip file and uploading them into Google Drive, all I'm going to do is connect my Canva account with Google Drive. To do this, go to the top right hand corner of your Canva toolbar where you'll see three small dots. Click on those and find the share section. Now scroll down until you find the Google Drive icon. Click on that and follow the very, very simple instructions that come up on your screen to help you connect Google Drive with your Canva account. I can't actually show you how to do this because I've already connected my Google Drive with Canva, but they are very, very simple. Once you've done that, click on the Google Drive icon, select the folder where you want to transfer your graphics to, Select your file type, 
so they want to be PNG high quality images. Select the pages you want to transfer. So I'm going to select them all. Click on done and then save. And I nearly forgot to share those all important template dimensions with you, which will help you create these graphics. The best dimensions to use are 770 pixels wide by 193 pixels in height. Back over to my form and the first thing I'm going to do is remove the text questions. I'm then going to click on this little icon right here to insert an image. Find the tab that says Google Drive. Double click on the folder where you transferred your images to and you'll find all your Canva graphics right here. So I'm going to select the first of my questions and then click insert. And I'm just going to label this question number one. And that's it. And you repeat this step for all the other questions that you have in your survey. Once that's done, I'm going to add the section breaks. And now I'm just going to click on the eye icon to preview my survey. And that is already looking pretty good. I think it would be a really nice touch just to add a little personal thank you message to the bottom of my survey. So I'm going to pop back into Canva again. Add a fresh new page. Upload a new photograph. Add some text and then perhaps finish off with a sticker. I'm going to duplicate this page and then download these two pages as a GIF file. Back in my survey I'm going to scroll down, add an image, I need to upload this now from my laptop. And add a little thank you message. And here is my completed, beautifully branded survey, which I think my customers will definitely fill out and return to me. So that is all there is to it. You can now create your own professionally branded and visually attractive customer survey for free using Google Forms and Canva. If you enjoyed these tutorials, please do give them a like to support my channel. If you missed my previous tutorial, do check it out first. I'll leave a link on the end screen, which is coming up in just a second and in the description box below. So please do watch that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.